Asia Pacific ex Japan equities have been performing quite well recently, although it's important to differentiate between the markets. We're talking about uh, more than 10 markets within the region. Uh, the big outstanding performer has been China, uh, where we've seen stock markets run very, very hard and fast in a, in a very brief period. Uh, other markets more subdued. Um, India, which had a, a very good run last year, has been a bit quieter this year as people wait for the results of the new Modi government to come through. Uh, markets such as ASEAN have been uh, relatively out of the limelight uh, and quiet. Uh, looking at China in particular, you see uh, tremendous moves in some of the equity markets, not necessarily, uh, if at all, uh, driven by the fundamentals. If anything, the fundamentals in China at the moment are tougher than they've been in the past. Economic growth is slowing. Uh, issues such as governance uh, are still big, serious issues in China in particular. Uh, yet we've seen uh, many stocks double or indeed treble. Uh, so it makes life difficult uh, for an investor looking at those markets. You know, how do you invest your money? Uh, do you do it through fundamental analysis or do you just close your eyes and gamble? Uh, I think it's important, certainly as far as we're concerned, uh, to still keep your feet very firmly on the ground uh, and look to the fundamentals because those ultimately uh, are what will drive share prices. When you look at the region as a whole, you're talking about uh, the best part of two-thirds of the world's population, uh, huge countries, huge potential, and such great long-term growth prospects from rising middle classes, etc., etc., um, that make it a, a really exciting place to invest with plenty of really well-run companies. So our strategy when looking at Asia as a whole uh, is to keep your eggs in, in a few baskets. Uh, make sure, sure those baskets are, are baskets of really great companies that will be long-term winners. Uh, and that uh, will go a long way uh, to looking after your money uh, and indeed enabling your money to grow over the years.